Cactus pear, Apentia fica syndica, is a horticultural crop which is widely used as food for humans and feed for animals in many countries of the world. The cactus pear fruits are edible, delicious, with amazing health benefits, rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. They vary in colors of red, green, and yellow orange. Cactus pear plants begin to produce fruits two to three years after planting. Maximum potential, six to eight years, and they remain productive for 25 up to 30 years. Cactus pear flowers develop from the areoli disposed along the crown of one or two years cladode age. Flowers typically appear in late April, May, and June. The color varies by type, usually yellow, red, or purple. The number of fruit and cladodes occurring on the plant every year depends on plant age and crop management. While cladode fertility is related to the amount of dry weight accumulated per unit surface area. The average number of flowers produced by one year cladode is six to nine, with peaks of 30 to 35. Cactus pear fruit grows vigorously in the first 20 to 30 days after anthesis and stops growing approximately 60 to 90 days after anthesis stage. Insects, such as bees and beetle, are the major pollinators of the cactus pear flowers. Fruit production is hugely variable from 10 to 30 tons, depending on overall management, environmental conditions, and cultivar fertility. To obtain adequate yields and good fruit quality, it is recommended to provide fertilizer and supplement irrigation while needed, especially during fruits development. Fruit weight is affected by the order of production of the flower bud and the number of fruits on the cladode. The heaviest fruits are obtained from cladodes with only six fruits. Therefore, thinning is important to increase fruit size. It must be applied no later than three weeks after bloom. Fruit ripening varies within the plant and the fruiting cladode, mainly because of a different time course of flowering. Parameters such as size, peel color variation, firmness of the fruit, determine optimal harvest period. It is best to begin harvesting early in the morning to reduce dehydration and infestation. Knife must be used to harvest the fruits, a sharp cut made at the base of the fruit, and a small piece of cladode left attached. Avoid fruit snapping, pulling, or twisting. After removing the spines with broom or brush, the fruits should be quickly packed and transported to a cool or refrigerated area. By providing the technical and scientific recommendation on the cultivation and harvest management of cactus pear, productivity levels, especially fruit quality standards worldwide, will improve and can increase cactus pear marketing.